The Senate has mandated the committees on Army and Air Force to implement a directive to provide adequate security personnel to protect about them and multi local government areas in Borno State following a motion sponsored by Senator Mongonu Tahir. Now, Senator Ali Ndume also advocated for special operations similar to those used by the Chadian government. The Senate notes that for many years, Borno State has been bedeviled by insurgency with communities facing one form of attack or the other every now and then. Aware that recently relative peace has been restored in Borno State due to efforts of the Nigerian armed forces, which are commendable. However, some communities are still besieged by insecurity, as Guzamala local governments do not have any civil authority in place, no military presence, while Abadam and Marte local government areas need security reinforcement. The Chadian government led the operation by their president. We are not saying that we should do that, but there should be a special operation. Because this problem is cancerous and is expanding, we are talking about them in Sokoto, Kebi now. Uh, we are talking about them in Niger. They are going to plateau. They are growing the second cycle. The main purpose of government is security and welfare of its citizens. It's there in our constitution. We cannot change it. So everything should be focused on security. Because if we say it's Borno today, and we tell me to discuss it slightly, are saying that we should talk about it in two minutes, it will one day get to Kano. Now, Senator Ned Mwoko supported a motion for national dialogue with disgruntled groups, emphasizing military collaboration and empowerment. Senator Sandy Karimi suggested leaders in the affected local government areas guide security personnel through challenging terrains. We must look at the reasons why people are agitating, why people are fighting, why they are willing to carry guns to be killed or, or kill. We, we cannot have a nation where some parts of the country are no-go areas. It just doesn't make any sense. My solution is a very simple one, and I've said it and I keep saying it. We need to have a national dialogue. We need to bring all the dissenting voices, all the groups that are agitating for one thing or the other. Mr. President, let's talk to them. We can come together as the leader of the state to mobilize the legislature in the state to see how we can use part of our solar intervention fund to contribute something to the security of our environment. If we can secure the lives and properties of our people, that is the best thing we can do for them. Rather than coming and talking and talking and everything, we should lead by example. I also discussed with him, you should see the Chadian leader that led his people to the front. It's because he understands that terrain. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.